right, let's see what I got here. Oh, this is a garbage watch, so I apologize. I won't do too many of these. I do them once in a while, just because they're fun. But I don't know which one this is. We'll see. It's a little heavy, so it can't be horrible. Interesting. My God, is that loud? All right, let's see if I can find a video. Friends, I know I said I wouldn't do too many of these AliExpress and Wish watches, but I really do get such a kick out of them. There's nowhere else I know that you can really get wild looking watches at such an affordable price. And, and honestly, sometimes I, I just kind of feel like um, these small fly-by-night companies, they they really try harder than some of the big names. You know, they can, they can take a bigger risk because if they go out of business, then kind of so what, right? I mean, it's somebody's investment. Maybe it's a larger company that just produces a couple of these inexpensive watches. And I can't even get them. They don't even polish out. It's, it's dirty, but it's not. That's just a non-polished metal. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, I, to, to be quite honest, I actually bought another one of these, uh, and I'll have a video of it later. Uh, I was kind of bamboozled, as they say. I paid uh, for an automatic movement, and they basically sent me the exact same thing. Um, but anyways, now, of course, these watches are cheap. Um, this watch is definitely included. But, you know, like I said, it's kind of part of the fun. And I will also say that these entry-level Chinese watches are starting to get better. This one in particular actually has some weight to it. And uh, I'll get, I'll, uh, you know, I'll weigh it later when I do the measurements. But um, honestly, the only part about it really is kind of the case back. Um, it's very thin and, uh, you know, I wouldn't expect too much more, but just like some of the older 60s watches, if you guys remember them, like the original old 60s uh, Swiss watches, they tended to have, um, they were echoey, right? And a lot of the pin lever, I guess they call them the dollar watches. They were really, really loud and, and this one kind of is too. And I'll talk more about that later. Uh, it's not like Timex loud, but that's like part of the charm. It's just like it's kind of cheap. Um, other than that, though, the case is really not that bad. There's just you can just kind of see where it's reflecting there. There's like a little a little ridge, if you will. It's kind of like a quasi sort of a fake um, relief there. I, I I I don't really know what they were going for. I think it was just uh, honestly, this thing is this is not 316 stainless. It was just kind of coated. And I think that's just how it came out. But other than that, I mean, it's not bad. I, I'm gonna put the price up at the top here. Um, the actual original auction, it wasn't an auction, I guess it's just a store, but I think I paid something like, it was like $11 shipped to my house. I, I mean, you know, what can I expect? This is something you could wear all day long. Um, and it's got some pretty cool colors too. Uh, so the case, Case comes in some fascinating colors like gold. You can also get black and silver, which is this. Uh, and then they also have different um, different I don't know, face colors as well. So I think there's a, a green, there's a red. I, I'm not looking at them. There's a white, there's the blue, and there's like a gray, and then there might be something else. I don't know, like a beige or something, but you know, it's it's kind of cool. Now, I, I actually ordered it um, with this leather strap. The bracelets on these cheap watches are really cheap. Like that is the worst part, right? Because they're trying to save money big time. And whenever you're getting one of these cheap watches, I mean, I don't know if I'd really call this advice, but get the leather straps because 
Um, I think metal is more expensive than cows are <laughs> in China. So like this is actually a halfway decent leather strap. It's, you know, it's not expensive. This strap is probably like if you were to buy it separately on eBay, it would probably be like $7.99. But for a watch that I basically paid uh, under $12 for, that's not bad. So if worse comes to worse, I use this somewhere else. Um, this is garbage, but whatever. Uh, again, it's it's not bad. Now the bracelets are such garbage, I wouldn't even want anything to do with it. And I probably just put um, some of the strap on it. Uh, before I get too much into the watch though, I, I want to talk about some of the, the advertisements. Um, uh, again, you know, like I, I kind of get a kick out of them. I know it's not nice because there is a language barrier, but sometimes some of the things that they say and do are just hilarious. And you know, Far be it from me to deny you the pleasure of seeing some of those those things. Anyway, I've never really heard of this brand before and I wasn't able to find much about them. They seem to exist only in AliExpress, so I have to assume it's an AliExpress exclusive. But I did do some searching and I did find something on Work Boots Experts, or maybe that's uh, Work Boots Experts. I'm um, sorry, I got that wrong. Anyway, the article basically said that they are specifically designed to be a direct-to-consumer watch. So this basically means that it's available only online, or as we used to say back in the day, mail order only. So there aren't any shops that actually carry this brand, uh, like actually in the store. And of course, I wouldn't have expected otherwise. There wasn't much to the article other than the worthwhile quote. Fingin offers a wide range of timepieces across a number of different price points, drawing inspiration from the vibrant world of the classic automobile. So I guess I don't really know uh, what this looks like. Maybe like a Chrysler logo, if we put that on there, does it look like, uh, I don't know. Anyways, it also showed a neat chart and I'll put that up here. It said that the manufacturer had seen a 766% growth in the past five years, which is kind of cool. So anyways, what about the functionality? So most of the features of this watch are totally fake. Um, and I'll kind of put some pictures up here so I can reference them just to make it a little bit easier. Um, but if you haven't noticed already, this is definitely a fashion watch. So the sub second is completely fake. Uh, there's a red um, arm there. It doesn't actually do anything. It says it's part of the chronograph, but neither the start stop or the reset button actually do anything. So they are fake. Um, then there's also this little thing on the left, uh, which, you know, again, I'll put it up here. Um, I don't know what that is. It doesn't do anything either. So it doesn't really mean anything. Um, date of the month is a little bit confusing too because uh, there are literally two windows. Um, there's the half moon crescent window that has an arrow pointing to the center date, which would be cool except for the fact that there's already a separate window between the four and five o'clock. So I don't really know what the point is. I mean, I suppose, let's see, could it be like, that's Monday and you know that's Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, yeah, I mean, I suppose I, I could make it up and say that like that's for the beginning of the week and this is five days from now, but I don't know why you would do that. All right, I think I've wasted almost entirely too much time on this uh, on this watch. So I'll just get right to it and, and shoot through this. So the very first thing that's interesting is um, when you look at the, uh, the sound, the sound level meter that I used, it's normally the room ambient sound is 31 decibels, but this watch is an additional nine decibels, which means that the sound coming from the watch is at least uh, nine to 10 decibels higher than ambient. All right, let's look at some of the weight. Um, if I can get this to go. Right, this thing weighs 71 and a half grams. Okay, kind of cool. All right, the case width. Forty-six and a half. Lug is twenty-four. And the depth is twelve and a half. Alright, it's not bad. Looks okay on the wrist. Not horrible, not horrible. And last but not least, 
3 ATM and it does actually have a gasket so it might actually be uh, but they did lie there is no loom whatsoever that does not light up to save anyone's life I'll even show you with this nothing oh 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 what's that it actually does okay I stand corrected barely barely all right well hopefully you enjoyed this video probably spent way more time than I should have on this watch but um yep if I see you on the street it's yours